Hey everyone, this is Teo. In today's video, we are going to unbox the Dell U 3219Q. This is a 32-inch 4K monitor. First of all, special thanks to Dell Singapore for sending me a review unit. Now, I don't typically like to do unboxing videos because, well, I just don't like to. But in order to keep the main review shorter, I'm going to separate out that review into two videos this unboxing video that you're watching right now and the main review which should come about two weeks later. I want to take my time to properly test out the monitor from the perspective of a content creator. More specifically, I do a lot of photo and video editing and I write a lot as well. So I'm going to tell you what it's like after using this monitor intensively for two weeks for work purposes. All right, let's unbox this. In this video, we are going to see what's included in the box. We are going to see how we can set up the monitor. And of course, you get to see how the monitor looks like when it's on the table. So let's take a look at the cables that are included. This is the power cable. Depending on the country you are buying the monitor from, the head to this power cable may be different. And as far as I can tell, there is no power brick. This is the USB data cable. This will go to the back of the monitor and this will go to your computer. So when you connect this cable to the monitor, you can use your monitor as a hub. You can use your USB devices with it. The third cable we have is this cable with full size display port on both ends. And the last cable is this USB type C cable. So it looks like there is no HDMI cable. There is no mini display port cable and there is no power brick. So this is the monitor stand. This is quite heavy and it feels very solid. You need a solid stand for a large monitor. This is the stand. It's huge. To fix up the stand, it's very easy. You just have to slot this here and go to the back and twist this. You can tighten this with your hand. There are six pieces of rubber beneath the base to prevent this from slipping on the table. So this is, I need to turn this to face the front. This is going to be a bit heavy. Let's see how we can pick this up. So there is a slot here where you can put your hand to bring up the monitor. And yes, let's take this out slowly and carefully. All right, so this, this sleeve is open on this side. And this is the monitor. The front is protected as well. Wait a minute, before I put this on the stand, let's take a look at the pots. So we have the power pot here. This is a full-size HDMI, full-size display port, USB Type-C. This is the audio line out, USB 3 upstream to USB 3 downstream, Type-A. According to Dell, this is VESA multiple. This is about 12.2 centimeters, which is around slightly less than five inches. Let's put the box away. Oh, there is this color calibration factory report. It says here that the monitor has been pre-tuned to standard sRGB for color and luminance and the uniformity is adjusted to these specifications. And there is grayscale tracking, blah, blah, blah. This is the whole report. I will do my own color calibration as well so that the colors on this screen, on this monitor can match my other monitors. This is the current monitor that I'm using. This is the BenQ SW 2700. It supports up to 99% Adobe RGB. Let me clean the table before I put the new monitor on it. The problem with wooden tables like this is even if it gets dusty, it's very difficult to tell. So it's actually quite dusty. Let me put the stand close to the edge of the table so that I can mount the screen easily. I've already removed the protective covering on the front and on the back. So I need to just slide this onto the stand. 
and I hear a click and it's on the stand. Let me turn this on the side to let you see the profile, the side profile. This is a huge monitor. Let me adjust the height. You actually need to use both hands to do so because the monitor is actually quite heavy. You can rotate it like this as well and you can tilt it. Once again, using two hands is a lot easier. And it's actually quite thin compared to the BenQ monitor that I'm using. So this is great. When you look at the monitor from the front at the bottom left, there are two USB 3 ports on the side. They are powered so you can use them for charging your USB devices. I've just connected the monitor to my Mac Pro 2013 and this looks fantastic. I like the thin bezel that goes all around, all on the four sides. It's uniform, it makes the screen looks really immersive. And I can see some empty glare coating that's going on. My light source is coming from this side. I have huge windows on the side so I can see some empty glare going on. Let me move the camera to the other side. So on this side, I no longer see the glare. Now the current monitor that I'm using, it has shading hood to block out the light. So if I am working on this monitor, I would need to put my curtains down. The anti glare is actually very similar to the BenQ monitor that I'm using. Now let me show you an app. This is Final Cut Pro. This is a video editing app on the Mac. And with the 4K resolution, I'm able to see a lot more user interface. I can see more thumbnails here and I can enlarge the player significantly. And I mean, the colors look great out of the box. I'll still need to calibrate this though. The monitor controls are on the right side as well as the power switch. I've just connected the USB cable to my iPad Pro. So let me switch the input source to USB see and see if it works and it works let me open up the website of Dell let's take a look at the technical specifications I cannot remember all the numbers so let's take a look at them so the brightness is at 400 nits contrast ratio 1300 the color support is slightly over 1 billion colors. I will use the color calibrator to measure the actual color support on this monitor. Now with USB-C and with iOS, the screen is not going to fill up the entire monitor. So we are going to have black bars on the left and on the right side. And also at the top and at the bottom. Let me switch back to HDMI. What I wanted to show you is basically you can use this monitor as an external monitor for your tablets that have USB-C connection. So that is all for this unboxing video. Come back again two weeks later for the detailed review where I will talk about its performance, the color support, and what it is like to be using a 4K resolution monitor for work purposes, for photo and video editing. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. See you again. Bye!